Welcome to this video. We're crocheting in this one. I'm currently working on um, a sweater. Hold up, let, let me show you. I am in love with this stitch. Look at how beautiful it is. But it's a raglan sweater, so it's going down, down, down. Um, I'm gonna do one block of this and now I'm working with like the chocolate color and then at the bottom I'm gonna have a block of red. Um, I'm in love with it already. I hope it really turns out the way I want it to turn out. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with making uh, wearable products. Um, I made one hexagon sweater and it is okay. I will show it to you in a bit. But yeah, my intention for this video is to get some of the projects started that I mentioned in my uh, yarn haul unboxing uh, video. I will link it there. So this is obviously not it. Um, this is with the yarn from Nu Vibra in the Netherlands. Um, it's cheap acrylic because I'm not rich, even though my last video might suggest otherwise, I'm not. Um, usually I do budget shit. So the last video was really uh, me splurging in a way that I normally don't. But yeah, this is the cheap yarn. It's, um, what's it called, Saskia. It's great. It's, it's seriously pretty great yarn, look at it. It's not the softest, but it's cheap. It's 125 and it is 240 meters. So <laughs> it's so fucking worth it. I'm just getting into making garments. So this is really great cheap yarn to uh, test out some stuff, to really get familiar with how it works to build a garment. I know the first garments are not, probably not the ones you wear the most. So I don't mind just using cheap shit. And when I know how to do this sort of thing, I will buy more expensive and prettier yarn. So today I just want a quiet day and crochet um, is okay <laughs> to me because it, it, it keeps my hands busy, but it's not too mentally stimulating. So I can just calm down while I'm crocheting. I couldn't do that before, by the way. At the, at the start of my crochet journey, I started crocheting in March. And during the first about four months of me crocheting, I felt so extremely rushed while I was crocheting. Still, I have that sometimes, but I noticed that it happens more when uh, I'm also trying to do other stuff at the same time, like watching a TV show. So just sitting in silence, crocheting, it doesn't make me feel as rushed anymore. Okay, hold on, let me, let me check. It's always such like a little mindfuck when you reach such a point like, oh, I have to join them. But let, let me check. Okay, we have one there, one there, one there. Alrighty, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. But for now, I'm just gonna crochet the day away. Let me change the angle so you can see more. Don't mind my crusty thingy. It just collects like the sticky stuff with the fabric. So this stitch is basically um, you do one row of single crochets one way and then you do a treble crochet in one and then a double crochet in the next one and you go back and forth like that. If you're interested in this stitch I will make a video about it just let me know okay. This is called the Billows Stitch, by the way. It's from this book, Crochet Every Way Stitch Dictionary. It's on page 124, the Billows Stitch. It's a really pretty stitch. I'm really, I really like this stitch so much. It feels thick, it's perfect for winter. It feels heavy as well because it's such a dense stitch. I like that. Being on the yoga ball really helps like loosen up a little bit, by the way. When you keep your body really tight while you're crocheting, it just helps. Because you can just bounce around, roll around, just loosen up a little bit, you know. It's easier to do that on the yoga ball than on the couch, for sure. A sudden rant emerges. You're literally putting yourself in a trance when you're crocheting. When you think of it, it's actually the perfect kind of state to reprogram yourself. So whatever you watch in the background when you're crocheting, it pretty much has like a direct link to your subconscious. Oh, interesting. 
I didn't realize that before. But of course, we're in this sort of like trancy state. It's so easy to do hypnotic type stuff to our brains. Oh my God, I'm gonna use that. I don't know how yet, but that's so much fun. Why wait? Let's put some affirmations on in the background. All is well in my world. I am safe. I am always surrounded by the energy of peace. I am safe in this world. How lovely. I am safe at all times. I've been crocheting for about an hour, I think. Um, I managed to do two rows well four because it's two rows of single crochets and then it's two rows of like the front um front loop and the double crochets i should like try it on for a moment excuse the non-bra day i don't do bras when i'm at home okay okay so right now it's very boxy. I hope this will turn into like when a more of like a round uh, color. Um, it's just the way you increase this stitch. It makes it go very 90 degrees. I feel it's like it's big enough. I'm just curious to see how it turns out. And yeah, I'm using the camera as a mirror at the moment because I don't want to get up. But I feel like this is going well. Like it's going in in the right uh, spot and it's maybe a little bit budgy, but that's okay. I don't mind. We'll see. I'm excited for how it is right now. And I will show you the cardigan I made, the hexagon cardigan. Okay, so here it is. Let me put it on. It's very long and it turned out pretty well. I made like this ribbing on this side and at first I had that ribbing at the at the cuffs as well but I didn't like how it turned out and it was way too long so I shortened it shortened it I don't like this one either but at least now I can <laughs> put them up because before uh, with the previous cuff um, I couldn't get them past like this point and they were way too long oh and it had pockets they didn't do it for me so I shortened it because with this one I have only one extra row at the end of like the car the hexagon. I think for a first cardigan it turned out really well. So yeah, I'm quite pleased. The next day I figured out what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a big fucking jellyfish for my niece. I might not have enough yarn though, so I'm gonna have to see how far I can get. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do if I run out of yarn, we'll see. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one of those balloon animals, but then it's a crochet animal. We're gonna do one of those Christmas games, you know, when you steal other people's gifts. And I want to make two gifts, one for my niece and one for my nephew. I feel like they will go for those. And in the end, they will get them eat away. So that will be fun. And then I also want to make a tic-tac-toe game, although I'm not excited about it anymore. So maybe I'm not going to do it. We'll see. And then I have a whole lot of other stuff I want to do, but I think we just have to start with this. Normally I don't try to do a lot of projects all at once, but right now I feel like I want to do all of them at the same time. We're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna focus on the two I just mentioned and I might actually start right now. I'm using a pattern by repeatcrafterme.com. It's called the giant crochet jellyfish, just so you know. And I'm gonna use this one for the main uh, or the head. This is a sucky one. I bought a cheap one that has just a cover and it's just flying off constantly. I believe I had another one. Yeah. They recommended a 9mm hook for this one, but I am using a 6 because I don't have a 7 and I thought 8 was too big. Why am I slip stitching? 
This is where this pattern says to join each round. I'm not used to doing that with amigurumi. I'm used to just going around. So this is a little bit weird to me, but we'll trust the pattern. We'll trust it. With chunky yarn, you do have like this massive hole here, by the way. It, I don't think you can change that. Can you? Now I feel like trying to change the pattern. <laughs> no, we're not. We're just gonna keep going. That works out quite fast. That's nice about bulky yarn. Okay, this is a pattern that makes you get like the cornered uh, pieces. I feel like I wanna rewrite the pattern because I don't like that sort of stuff, but maybe it's not gonna be too bad because it's bulky yarn, I don't know. Nubily keeps going. I feel like it's too tight. I feel like, I don't know, I don't think I should use like a bigger hook necessarily, but maybe I should. I think it's too tight. I've never run into this problem before. So maybe I should just keep going? Probably, I should probably just keep going. I should probably have faith in the pattern, right? Just trust that it knows, maybe? I'm gonna start over because I just feel like it's not gonna be the way it should be. I'm gonna try a bigger hook and see how it goes because I'm just not happy with it. Okay, I'm gonna unravel this. A few moments later. I immediately started to figure it out after I turned the camera off. I started with three single crochets in a magic circle and I am doing something I wrote down. I will put it on the screen. And I am alternating between the colors and it is making a spiral. Oh, and it was a good decision to go from a six millimeter hook to an eight. The holes aren't any bigger than with the six millimeter hook, so it's, it's all good. It does have a little bit of a tip though. This is gonna be really stupid, but I'm gonna start over again. Because this purple, it seems kind of dull with this pink. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's the perfectionist in me. When something feels off, I can't keep going. I just fucking can't. This matches way better. <laughs> I will get it started later or tomorrow again and you will see the process, the progress. I'm not stopping completely. I'm just gonna frog this whole thing first. Three hours later. I went a little overboard tonight. I finished pretty much everything. I mainly followed another pattern link below, combined with my own twist. Um, I have like a little lid. I'm gonna put all of these things. Whoop, some fell um, on that little lid it's easier than to sew it on later. So yeah, I'm pretty much done, but I need to get some bigger eyes um, and I'm gonna do that tomorrow and I think I need more filling. So I'm pretty much done. Um, this is all the yarn I have left just to add the lid, even though it's the wrong color, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's gonna fit and then tomorrow it's done. It's so much fun to make these things, I had more purple than the other colors left. So, um, I don't know, it'll be something like this. I love it already. It's so pretty. So yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow. The next day. All right, so I didn't vlog anything today, but I did a lot of uh, crochet type stuff. First, I went to the library and I got a couple of books. One is about sort of like the mandala stuff. The other one is about crocheting edges and quilting and edges again and mandalas. Um, I will get into this in 
the next video probably because I got like those hoops as well to make them so that's for another video and today I also went to the local yarn shop because we are doing a crochet along and today was the last part well no next week we're gonna do something as well but the crochet along is about making what is it called in dutch it's a slinger we made a bunch of little flags for it but yeah today was the 10th one we created this one today and next week we're gonna put them together and then we can send them to the charity that's gonna I think they're gonna sell it. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with it. I should read up on it. So yeah, I crocheted there for a bit. And then, okay, hold up. There's too much. Okay, first up, I got some ice for the jellyfish, which we're gonna attach in a minute. And I decided I need to learn to knit. <laughs> and they had pretty yarn for sale. So I got two skeins of this one. It's beautiful. And two skeins of this one. The brand is Lana Grossa. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Doesn't matter. But it's multicolor yarn. And I believe it's, it is especially for socks. I want to be able to make socks. I will crochet my cardigans and sweaters and all that sort of stuff. But my socks, I want to make knitted socks. I just want to make those really cool Scandinavian type socks with like the cool prints on them. So yeah, I didn't... I uh, crochet a lot today, which is fine because my hands were uh, really tired from yesterday. I just took it kind of easy today. Um, let me just drink this and then I will continue. A few moments later. Okay, now I just want to attach the eyes to my jellyfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there. Right about there. Oh yeah. I put like smaller eyes on it yesterday, but they, uh, I could pull them uh, out of like this because the holes are pretty big, I guess. Is that too far? I'm not sure. Is this better? Yeah, I think this is better. It's sad to put it like um 11 spaces uh, apart but i just do what i want i want it to look pretty to me all right now we can stuff it look at it it's so cute i had an idea by the way because i don't like to use that polyfilm i bought a bag of it i i do have a bag of it but i want to try something else um, I have a bunch of old clothes in the attic and I want to try to cut them up into pieces and I want to fill it up um, with old clothing. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work out the way I want, but I want to try at least before I put like the polyfill in it. You can see the holes. So if I put polyfill in it, it will poke out and I don't like that stuff. I will see you tomorrow because I'm done for now. I lied. I had to start knitting off course. Without actually trying to make socks, I'm just gonna try to knit on these needles. Like super basic shit. I just want to get familiar with these needles. God damn it, it's so small. The, the girl in the shop, she told me it's easier to start with bigger needles. Two people told me it was easier to start with bigger needles and bigger thread. Which is fine, but I am stubborn. So, I'm just gonna do the three millimeters and I'm gonna struggle. Because that's what stubbornness gets you. Can we just drop, can we drop it? Drop it like it's hot. Yes, there we go. Am I fucking it up? Yeah. Yeah, I am. The next row is supposed to be easier. Ooh, almost dropped it again. Okay. Nope. Nope. 
Oh shit, what am I doing? Crap. I think I dropped a stitch. Well, I'm not sure. You gotta love the ignorance of uh, being a newbie. Because you don't know when you're doing something wrong, your perfectionism um, has nothing to uh, criticize yet. So even when I make mistakes, I only notice when I make mistakes, once I get better, I can make all the mistakes I want without actually having my inner perfectionist get in the way. I do like that about learning new skills, by the way. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. It's not great, like, at all, but I'm getting better, even though I'm dropping stitches here and there and things are a bit sucky here and there, but whatever. I'm learning, I'm learning, but for now, progress, yeah. The next day. Let's get that thing ready. For stuffing the jellyfish, I'm gonna go up to the attic and find those old clothes I was talking about. Let's go and we'll see what we find. sketchy as shit here but whatever i have two bags of clothing and one uh, box so i'm just gonna check if there's anything useful in here i actually think i have enough with this but i'm gonna check the other stuff as well for future projects I got this whole bag with clothing. The scissors, <laughs> it sucks because I've used it for other stuff, but still it's a fabric scissors and it still works. I like that. You get the point, right? I'll show it when it's finished. It's getting really heavy, by the way, so I think that's part of the reason why people don't do it. Personally, I like that it is getting heavy because it really feels like something you can cuddle with. You're getting a heavy jellyfish. A very cuddly jellyfish. I still need to come up with an idea for my nephew because I had this idea of making a balloon animal for him, but I feel like compared to this one for my niece, I feel like a balloon animal is too simple, too small. I want it to have another uh, wow factor, just a little bit. I want him to be excited about what he's getting as well. And I feel like a balloon animal might not be it. Like for my niece, it's easy. Any freaking toy with pretty colors works. But my nephew is nine and he is into gaming and that sort of stuff. And I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what to get someone like that. Okay, this is it. This has to be enough. Okay, the only thing I'm a little bit bummed about is that I only have a purple yarn left. And um, this part here is pink. And this part here as well. So it will get... A little bit of a purple edge here probably but we'll see okay oh that's cool you're not even gonna see it like really well oh that's better I didn't expect that you can see where I'm doing it Just to add strength to it, I'm gonna weave it into uh, one of the um, tentacle thingies. That's it! So here it is! Look at it! It's so cute. I wish I had more of this yarn to make a couple more of these, but it's fine the way it is. And I really like that it's so heavy. It looks like this at the bottom right now. Adorable! 
with its little thingies here. Now we're finished with this one. I'm gonna end the vlog here. And if you wanna see more, there's so much more to come. So just subscribe and like the video and you'll see me pop up on your screen again. Um, I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.